All right, we're going to try to multiply three binomials. Remember, binomials, these are not trinomials. These are all polynomials, but these are binomials. One term, two terms, one term, two term, one term, two. Bi, like bicycle, etc. The I is two, so there are two terms here. Uh, this looks pretty bad, but if we look at it carefully and just break it into some pieces, it's much easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first two binomials. I'm going to multiply them first, and I think if you can look at it and try to see it as if it was this. So I'm just going to change the color of this and say... That's what we want to work on first. That's okay. All right. So how we, what do we use to multiply these two things together? Say so what? I heard somebody say distributive property, but what else could you use as a specific one? We use, yeah, just use FOIL. So you go ahead and FOIL this out. First, X times X is, good job, X squared. O is for outer, so this time this piece times this piece is 4x, isn't it? Is it negative? This is a positive x, and this is a positive 4. So, but I see where you're going next because the O, I'm sorry, the I part of FOIL is the inner part, so it's negative 1 times x is good job, is negative x. And then lastly, la last term here times the last term here, we have negative 1 times positive 4 is negative 4. Four. So far, so good. So we combine these like terms and we get what? We get what? Yeah, we get x squared. That's all right. Then gather like terms. So these are x's and this is these are all x's to the first power. So 4x is minus 1x is positive 3x. Good job. Then what? Minus. Four. So that's us multiplying these two pieces together, right? This piece times this piece, right, gives us this thing, doesn't it? Good, I hear you. Now what do you want to do? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can pick this up so I actually show it this way, but you're exactly right. Try to pick this up here, right, and drag this down here, right, because this is the part we haven't done yet, right? Oh, 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 sure, yeah, 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 we can do that. That's even better, good idea. Good, that's fine, you want to do that? So we'll make it like the last, that's really smart, good for you. We'll do it like we did the last problem. Look, the bar stayed up there. Nobody thought that was amusing but me. Uh, I'd like very much to hear back from you today when you write your comments on this video to remind me how nice my voice sounds. Even though I'm sick, I sound really, what were you saying? Cool, sophisticated, is, is those the words you used? No one? No one at all. I swear I'm not I'm not here alone. There are people in this classroom. Stop looking at me like that. You're here. They're all looking back at me. They're gaslighting me, trying to make me think I'm crazy. Very funny. You should be very proud of yourselves. All right. Now what? Nothing? They're all just staring at me. <laughs> yeah, thank you, right? The, we have two terms inside of this binomial. We have the positive 3 and we have the x here, don't we? So start with the positive 3. If you want, we can change the color just to make sure we're being clear what we're multiplying here. It's this positive 3 right here, isn't it? Times this mess. So positive 3 times negative 4 is, is negative 12. And then positive 3 times positive 3x is Positive 9x. Sometimes when you're doing your algebra, your arithmetic falls apart, doesn't it? Okay, no problem. And lastly, we have this term times this, and it's 3 times x squared. So it's 3x squared. Isn't that true? So, so far, so good. What are we going to do next? Really, really important. Thank you so much. You're going to have a place, so I'll just put a zero here. Because we know we're not going to get anything in the ones place because we're, we're going to be multiplying by a t an x term, right? Good for you. I'll just put this here as my placeholder. And here I'll put a little dot inside to say this is a placeholder. It looks like somebody's looking at me. What? It's possible. So x times negative 4. 
negative 4x, and lo and behold, our x's end up over top of our x's. That's going to help us later not to make unforced errors, isn't it? Good. And now what? x times 3x, and x times 3x is? Is 3x squared. Nicely done. And then lastly, we get what? Right, we get x times x squared is x cubed. And now, just do some simple e addition. addition thanks very much. Negative. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm protecting his anonymity. Yes, thank you very much. Did you really call him e? <laughs> well, hello, friend. Yes. Here we are teaching math in the uh, British Consulate, downtown Dublin. She happens to be in Ireland. It's not English, and it's going to be really embarrassing on the video when people figure all that out. But they don't know who I am, so it doesn't matter. Who am I? If, if Vin Diesel was a math teacher, that's who I am. No, seriously. Okay, so we're going to add negative 12 plus 0 is negative 12. That's it, you guys. I've had enough. I can't take it. And what are we going to get here as this simplifies out? 5x. Plus 5x. Good job. Here, plus 6x squared plus x cubed. Really nicely done. Please, I'm asking you, as people who care about me, please put a bracket, put something around your answer so I can find it more easily, will you? And I believe that's a good answer, isn't it? So what do we do when we, when we multiply binomials? We, more than two, just multiply two. And then take the product and multiply it again. All right? Okay. E, hello. No, really. How do you stop this thing? It won't quit. It really won't. I keep pressing the button, but nothing's happening. Oh, if you press the stop now. Goodbye. I said goodbye.